whether you love her, whether you hate her. I have never tried the EV1 brand. I like to check. And I found a bunch of it on deep, deep discount. So we are going to get into that right now. On this episode of Wow Week, we are going to be getting into the EV1 brand, which is Ellen DeGeneres' brand at Walmart. Obviously, she's been in the news a lot recently. Um, maybe that's why all the stuff was on clearance. I don't know. I don't know. But nonetheless, we're giving it a try in this little try-on haul of the EV1 brand today. I thought we would do this a little bit differently. A couple reasons. I've never done a try-on like this before, yada, yada, yada. And I know that I have some sound quality issues that I've been made aware of. I apologize about that. I am very committed though. I just ordered three mics, three different kinds of mics. Better sound quality is coming at you soon. I'm going to get in the hall. I really quickly would love anybody's opinion on this style of doing it. I kind of like switch things up a lot. I would love if you could comment on it, particularly if you've seen my other videos. Ellen, crazy. I am filming this on the day that I think the news came out that she got, she got, she got it. I don't know if we're supposed to say the word. She got the problem that's causing the pandemic. So anyway, we wish her well. I think I threw a little shade at her while we coast Jen a few days ago. So no shade, Ellen. I certainly wish you well. This stuff was mega cheap. Jeans were like $5. Just touching this stuff, it feels extraordinarily high quality. Like no joke. Much more high quality than even, well certainly no boundaries. Time and true. I'd say it feels more high quality than that. So this is the first pair of jeans. Check this out. It's got like this faded side stripe situation. And I have to tell you guys, I got my size 14. These are nice. I'm not gonna lie. What do you guys think? I think these look nice. They were five doll hairs and see oh i know some of you guys like to see my butt not in a weird way i've got quite the booty and i know that's helpful for some people i know you guys don't like to look at my butt i don't mean it like that <laughs> i know a lot of you guys rely on me for mid-sizedness and curvaceous bootyliciousness so i am here for you <laughs> I'm sorry, like what? Five dollars, I can't believe it. We got this striping situation. I like them. Are you kidding me? It's like a, um, have you guys ever heard something described as a coat again? That's almost what it reminds me of. Like a boyfriend blazer, but that's like comfy. You know, it's stretchy. Like you could wear this with leggings if you wanted to. I love this little varsity striping situation right here. I had a feeling I was gonna run big. This is a small. So FYI to all my curvaceous, vivacious, mid-sizedness ladies, this is a small. And I honestly, I would not want it any small, any bigger, bigger. Yeah, bigger. They're so hard. What is this third in now? I'm very surprisingly impressed. Look at these, the patchwork. I'm sorry, what? These were not $5. I think something like 50% off. Fitty. Which I think equated to approximately 50% off from what the original price was, I think is what that came down to. I cannot believe how impressed I am. Look at this thing. So for one, I love straps like this. I just always have. I don't have that many purses. And probably half of them have straps like this. Look how cute this is. The only thing I don't love is the little heart, but I don't hate it. It's almost like a, um, that summery kind of material. Is that called tweed? I don't know, tweedy bird, something like that. It converts to a backpack. So it can go cross body or backpack. And look at this. It matches the little Codigan blazer thing. It's the same color. You guys, I'm gonna look so totes adorbs. I friggin love this. I am so shocked. I hope you can tell. <laughs> Here we have a bomber jacket and I am really sorry. I don't mean to keep sounding so surprised, but like, honestly, this is so flattering. Can you tell that it's like a sparkly gold? It's blue and black houndstooth. I definitely could do without the sparkly gold, but honestly, what is happening? EV1 brand, what? This feels so high quality. Did I say I got it in a medium? Her brand, I'm telling you, definitely runs big. For me, it runs true to size in jeans. Although I will tell you these jeans, so 
there are 14, like kind of all the genes. I, I feel like they're the kind of genes where over time they probably would stretch out. Can't tell you that that's what's definitely gonna happen. <laughs> normally would not even like a sweater like this because it's a little on the thick side for me but wow I think it's really cute I got this in a small so that is right there folks that's proof that her brand definitely runs big look it's like a mock neck like I definitely don't think this is like the most flattering thing on me to her exist I mean I'm picky about sweaters and I like this sweater so there's that Jen the real fluencer stamp of approval on this sweater Are you guys amazed like me I don't know I didn't have high hopes Here's a true test. White jeans. I do not even own white jeans. Yikes, why would I with my cellulite? As I watch my videos back, I say the word cellulite way too much, but it is a legit concern for me. It's maybe a concern for you. Not, not that you're concerned about my cellulite, but you're concerned about your own. And I think it is helpful to know. So we should think of a name like to call my cellulite so that I can talk about it in videos without saying the word cellulite. Call it Cindy or something. I apologize if your name is Cindy. Cindy, I'm sure you are a wonderful person. <laughs> It was just another C word. If you can think of a cool name for my cellulite that's like code, let me know in the comments. You know, you see some of it, but not bad. These were $5. That's the only reason I bought them. I would never in a million years buy a white pair of jeans, but I was like, it's wow week and these are $5. I love this stripe situation. I'll do a shot from the back so that you guys can definitely see. It's not bad. I would leave the house in these. For me, that's that says a lot. <laughs> and I don't even have shapewear and I could wear like comfy, comfy shapewear as I talk about and they would obviously look way better. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know what I was thinking when I got this. I feel like I thought it would be cute, kind of like how I have it, uh, actually maybe with more of a heeled boot and tights. I cannot find my tights. Anyway, this is an extra large. I feel like it's pretty big on me right here as you can see, but I did get it in a large as well. And I mean, it's not even internet acceptable to try on right there. Just tell me if you guys can relate to this, like this video. I'll hold something up and I'll be like, oh, that looks way too big. Like that's an gonna fit. Not only does it fit, sometimes it's snug. And I'm telling you, there is no bigger dose of reality check than that. Am I right, my friends? Let me know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing and I've always maintained that I don't know what I'm doing and if you subscribe to me you're subscribing to this hot mess spray ass. 